Hey guys, how is it going? I hope um, everybody is doing okay. Um, so let's talk about the this semester, the classes I'm going to take in winter 2021 and the books um, we will be using and what do I expect from these classes. I promised you to talk about it briefly, so here we go. I don't want to talk about it too long, though it's quite late and I have to work on my assignments. Um, but yeah, so here we go. I have three classes this term and uh, I'm going to talk briefly about each of the classes um, in the order. Um, so I have quantum mechanics two. Um, that's the first class. And then the second class is computational physics, which is uh, a course on scientific computing and we're using um, programming language MATLAB. Um, and the third one is the Honors Physics Laboratory. Um, that's the course I took last semester as well, because the course spans um, two semesters. So it's the second part. And so that's it, three courses as usual. Um, okay, so quantum. Um, for the quantum mechanics, uh, it's the second course out of the three uh, that you take in your undergrad physics degree uh, and your typical undergrad degree. And uh, we are using, um, officially for this class, we're using this book. Yeah, so I know some people have a love and hate relationship with this one. Um, I've, I can't really comment, it, comment on it too much. Um, I used it uh, a little bit so far. Uh, and I'm also supplementing with um, the Griffiths. Everybody knows Griffiths. So I find like at this point I feel like um, Griffiths has good explanations on things that I have trouble with um, understanding, but it, he doesn't go too much into details when it comes to calculations. And um, the this one um, expects you to know some quantum physics or like quantum mechanics already and is um, much more thorough on any kind of calculations or derivations. So two together are working fine for now, uh, even though I'm a little bit worried about this class. I'm a bit behind um, for some reasons that happened early in the semester. Um, but anyhow, so this class is um, interesting, but I think at this point I'm the least confident in this one. So, and the second one is the um, computational physics. And as I said, we're using MATLAB. Um, I'm on my first assignment, almost done. Um, okay, so let's talk about the textbook. So this is the official textbook. Even though it's a C++ textbook, despite that we're using MATLAB, uh, it's supposed to teach us the basics of the scientific uh, computing. It's quite heavy. Uh, book and there are some things we won't go um, through, but um, our co course instructor hi highly recommend this and um, I hope it will come in useful because um, yeah, this one looks really um, serious, I would say. Uh, I haven't had to use it yet because the first assignment we're doing is on uh, simulating the butterfly effect. Um, you can look it up on Wikipedia what this is. Uh, but basically we have to set up a game of 100 balls, like on a billiard table, sort of two-dimensional, and then uh, let, let them play uh, like 10 simulations at the same time. And the balls will start um, moving randomly. And um, eventually like you, like you're supposed to start them from the same positions. Uh, each game is slightly perturbed from the initial positions and see how uh, the game evolution um, differs from the previous one and kind of calculate that, that dispersion and also do the simulation, create the movie. So I'm almost done with the code. Um, this was a huge learning curve for me. Uh, I spent a lot of time on trying to get this done. I was panicking, but now it's looking okay, I think. I'm, I'm on track to get a downtime. Um, and this course overall will have um, three homework assignments that are worth 50% of the grade and the final term project, which is one huge assignment that we're supposed to do in groups of two. 
And that assignment alone, or the term project, will be worth another 50% of the grade for the class. Um, so this one, I'm not sure what to think about this. I haven't um, um, had the chance yet to find uh, a partner for doing this term project uh, together with and to figure out what we are doing um, for the project. So this will be uh, my task for the next week or two to figure out those two things because we should really start working on that early um, as it, this thing cannot be done in a couple of weeks. Uh, it will take significant amount of time and effort to get this done um, according to our professor. And um, okay, so, oh, and in this course, we have to write the reports on each of the assignments on and on the term project. There is a written report that's due along with your code and any kind of movies that you create from the code. And um, yeah, I guess this semester will be report heavy because the third class I'm taking, uh, which is the honors physics lab, we are um, obviously writing reports on every experiment we do. Um, so this will be in addition to the reports for uh, the computational physics class. Um, for the physics lab, I feel like this probably will be my easiest class this semester. Even though last semester, when I look back, I thought it was the toughest one. Um, yeah, so everything is relative, I guess. Um, okay, so what uh, to say specifically about the lab? So we have three experiments left. There is six in total plus one Arduino project that we were doing over the winter term. Um, and then, so three left. I'm on my first one this semester. This week is the last, so I'm almost done with that experiment. Uh, it's on the X-ray diffraction, by the way. Um, and so there will be two more. So it's not too bad, it's going fine. And there, there are no specific books, uh, pretty much just the manuals for uh, the specific um, experiment setup, depending on the, which experiment you choose. Um, yeah, so this is so much to the classes. Um, nothing really um, to, like not too many um, things to tell uh, besides what I just told you. Um, which class I do expect to be the most difficult? I think it's probably going to be the uh, programming class, the computational physics, because um, there's a pretty high level of expectation from us in terms of what we have to be able to do and accomplish. And um, when it comes to the language itself, the MATLAB, we're not being taught the language specifically. Um, we are expected to pick it up on the go um, as we learn to um, apply the scientific computing methods to um, the problems we, we are dealing with. Yeah, so I think that's one aspect that's gonna make it more difficult is you have to learn the language along the actual course content. Um, but I found at this point uh, by doing that first assignment that uh, knowing Python uh, already, at least the basics of it, helps a lot. Um, without this, I probably wouldn't be able to do what I was able to do now for this first assignment because it was quite intention intentionally made difficult so that we could um, actually learn, um, well, pretty much learn to swim. Um, yeah, so anyways, this is what the what my classes are going to look like this semester and what to expect. Um, and it's kind of late update and late, uh, late for this winter term because it's, it's already a month into the semester and um, I'm just doing this um, update. Next week we have a reading week, um, no classes. Um, so that's great. I hopefully will be able to catch up on stuff. Um, yeah, so this is, um, about it for this uh, update. And next time, um, whenever I get to film again, I will talk about my upcoming research um, internship uh, in the summer. There's been some changes to it uh, from the last video I made on this. Um, and um, yeah, so we'll, this is gonna be interesting, interesting. 
Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to get them in the next video or maybe the video after or somewhere in between. Um, and for now, I am um, going to stop the recording because I need to still work on the assignment and then um, hopefully have some sleep because tomorrow is going to be a busy day. So I hope your day goes tomorrow really well and I see you soon, guys. Bye.